Hello. Hello. <laughs> Who's happy to see me? Huh? Who's happy to see me? Huh? Ooh. Yeah. I kid you not. Look at this. Look at this. We caught these buyers smashed 12% and then um, we just missed it. Look, 2,600 wicked out. It wicked us out and then sold to 2050. Liquidity is down here. Liquidity grabs down here. So we still need to sell to this area around here. Which is why I'm jumping in fucking cells again. I'm back in the cells. We're back in the cells all the way down to 35. And we're gonna hold. I'm now gonna go for a run. I'll update you. I'm in on the copy. I'm in on platinum. Let's see how it moves. But yeah, that is the analysis that we've got marked up. Fingers crossed on this one. Time to run, motherfuckers. It's a new day. It's a new dollar. That's all I can say. New day, new dollar. Feeling good though, to be fair. It's actually kind of crazy. When you start getting yourself in these good habits and you start showing up for yourself, you start to realise that you can actually do it. And it's, it's just down to yourself. It's you versus you. And I know that everyone knows that, but uh, it's just hard to build that good habits up. And I'm only on day four. My legs kill. My legs kill. I, I don't even want to go on a run. You know, if I wasn't doing this challenge, I probably wouldn't go on a run. That just goes to show that the challenge is making me go on a run, which is now improving my habits, which should hopefully last for a longer period of time. But <clears throat> it's about three, three-ish K to the gym. So I'm just gonna get a 3k running. What? Like, why not? I know it's only 3k, but I might as well. I might even run around a couple, couple fields to try and get the 5k in, because 3k uh, is really not much. Even though when I run it, it does feel like a long. Oh, fuck! Started. Here he goes. He's taking off. Vroom. Ah, thank you for all the support as well on the on the other videos. You know, I know we're only on day four now, but. Yo, the content, I'm trying my best. It's hard to imagine vlogging every day. Some of you people probably don't even, and including myself, you know, like recording themselves or listening to themselves. To do this and record at the same time, it's like an, an additional fucking stress. You gotta get it edited, thumbnails, titles. You gotta record everything to make the video look good. So I appreciate all the support. So thank you. And as as vice versa, I'm putting out the content, but you it's just holding me accountable for my actions, you know. Right, let's go get three to five K in. Bash! One kilometer just ticked off. Ah come on. I was just saying to myself, like oh, when I run my uh everywhere aches man, my legs are fucked already. I did legs, you know, yesterday, so I haven't even recovered. My back is killing me from the back session. And now we're about to fuck up the tries and buys, which is very nice. But yeah, hopefully this is about 5k. I reckon this is about 5, 6k. I'm going to run this morning, maybe even 7. So it's a big W. I'm taking it slow and still holding sales. Ah, get up. Come on, get up. Start the challenge. Ah, oh, you will regret it, but we're getting there. Only joking. <laughs> Come on. Fucking hell, got you there. Make sure to like and subscribe after that. Jesus Christ, that's one nil. If I get you three times, you're gonna have to donate me your kidneys or something. I feel like I'm running uphill, even though I'm pretty sure I'm running flat. Flat surface, look. Get the job done though. Stop complaining. Fucking man up. 4K smashed. Just got it done, four fucking K. And I'm gonna walk it off. Gold's at 25.80, so I'm still holding it out on the copier. I'm praying it doesn't go to 2.895, because if it does, then, you know, it's just, it's just fucking peak. But yeah, holding it out. Let's see how it does. But yeah, now gym session. So chest and shoulders, let's get to it, man. Uh, having a little conversation with myself, and I was thinking like, no, trading's so hit and miss. Like some days I do insane, some days I don't, some days I get the markets right, some days I don't. And it's like, it's such an up and down experience. And 
if and it's like it's one of those things where it doesn't matter how good you are at trading you're only as good as your last trade so that also plays a massive part in when you are grinding you know challenges or you have a signals group and like you're doing bad and then you're like for fuck's sake i'm doing bad and then you need to learn how to control that so save you even trading on a live account you're like fucking sl sl or like you know you max margin on a flipping account or something it's like Ah, for God's sake, man. It kind of ruins your day a bit, but you always got to keep in mind that it don't matter. Brush it off, you go again. That's the whole point of this industry. Trading isn't meant to be easy. It's meant to be emotionally draining. Psychologically, it's meant to be tough, but you got to get it done. Chest and shoulders now, come on. What a session, what a session. Just on my, on my first set on the 60kg, I'm gonna go up, put an extra 5k on each. But yeah, no, I've hit SL twice this morning on gold cells. Fucking hate gold cells, man. Oh, so third time lucky. Third time lucky. Like I just said, you either let it ruin your day or you just get on with it. And that's the big, I think that's the biggest thing with majority of people, including myself, which is why I'm preaching this. Happens to me all the fucking time, man. It like, you like go self-destructive. You're like, for fuck's sake, this is so annoying. But you know you're gonna trade again. You know you're gonna go back in. It's just one of those things. And it's managing the risk, managing the R to R, managing the way you're in and out of trade, holding trades. All of that stuff you can't teach. You have to learn by experience by yourself. But you know, I'm still learning it as well. I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm not, because I am. Ah, it's just annoying. When you think the trade's coming in and it doesn't, it's just uh, it's a mind fucking thing. But also, how can you how can you expect when the, the gold news yesterday had high impact at 2 p.m. and also at 7 p.m. FOMC? What do you expect? You know, the markets are gonna be up and down. You don't know really after 2,600 all the way down 600 pips, you don't know where it's gonna come up to to retest it and sell. So it's hard to get that judgment. So you can look at it like that. We move, we're still holding on my 100k FTMO account. The FTMO account's taking a bit of a big hit, really. We're at break even right now. So we need this trade to come in. Fingers crossed. Nice and slow on the way down. Fast on the way up. some side raises to get the fucking uh, to get the side uh, of your shoulder a massive pump so on the way down fast on the way up feel like you're pulling from your elbows instead of your forearm i tell you what no food these fucking legging things i do apologize boys they're, they're meant to be running things but they're uh, they're uncomfortable as fuck. <sighs> gym session done, come on. Running and gym done. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. Mate, I am knackered. My legs are fucking killing me. I might not be able to do any cardio tomorrow, but I will, because Right now, I might not be able to, but tomorrow I'm going to be refreshed. So let's not even think about tomorrow. I'm going to have a protein shake, take it in the sauna with me. I've never done it before, but I haven't eaten since 6 p.m. last night. And I need to get protein in ASAP. Plus, after this, I'm getting a coffee. So I don't want to go liquid, 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 li like too much liquid. I don't know what I'm saying, but it seems, seems like a good idea to have a protein shake. Why not? Why, why, why not? Why not? Anyway. Currently 62 degrees. I'm gonna be in here for about 20, 25 minutes and then shower and get coffee. But this is so nice, I'm so hungry. And I'm back in the car. What a morning. 
the run was good, gym was good, sauna's good, got my coffee, up the irons, here we go. But yeah, not the best trading day, if I'm honest. It's just, gold's ripped me. Couldn't end it yesterday at 2,600. Missed those 600 pip sells. Went in at 2580 SL hit. Went in at 2585 SL hit. Went in at 2590 SL, I believe, hit. So yeah, I lost like 3% this morning. Some, you just gotta roll with the punches, you know, day before good profits day before that good profits day before that good profits it is what it is in the end of the day you have to take losses it's just part of the game it's part of the game but it's managing the risk which makes the losses less harmful if you do too much big risk then obviously it's just gonna ruin your account and uh, over margin you and all that sort of stuff and you're gonna blow it same with the challenges if you're over risking the challenges like my FTMO, I was up 9%, all I needed was one more percent, and now I'm minus two. But you live and you learn and you go again. So, we're back in. Well, I'm not back in, I'm gonna have to back test. So, I'm gonna go live today, back test, do analysis on gold, and then get my next setup to take. On the way back now, currently quarter to 11. I need to go eat some food, so I'm gonna go get some scrambled egg as that's high protein, low fat, and no carbs. So we're gonna have that today. A little yeah, that's gonna be like a little snack, and then for lunch, probably just like chicken or tuna rice. Boring, same shit, different day. And Nando's would bang to be fair, would like a Nando's. But can't have everything, so move. Just sent this to the free trading group because we had sales 92 like this is the entry and uh, on the 1H you can't see any retest but obviously you know the wick out of the zone but if you go 15 minutes you can use this as like an order block it's called previous highs the previous highs of the body touch and now we're going to go all the way to the liquidity grab which is here so you'd have your take profit down here so that's where the liquidity grab's gonna be. We touched this 2,600 psychological level, and then yeah, big sales, massive 20 plus to one R to R. Voila! Look at that. Still a load of pack in there. Literally teeny bit of carbs, tuna rice. You got to learn to love it. But you know you hate it, do you know what I mean? It's not the best, but fucking it's the healthiest, so we'll take it. Another W. But look at gold, man, look at gold. No, we're in, we're in, but it's still, it's annoying because I can't enter anymore on my FTMO. Currently on a dog walk. Right now, I've got the big boy. Look at him. He's loving it. It's hot today. Look at the sun. Gee, the current gold signal. It's amazing what happens in just a few hours. The current gold signal is melting. Hundreds and hundreds of pips. Get in there. It's exactly what we needed after taking the minus 3% today. That is exactly what we needed. Sometimes you're gonna hit SLs. That is, it's the, like I say, it's the, it's the game. If trading was easy, everyone would be rich, you know? But mindset, trust in yourself and taking that setup. I'd rather lose then not take it and miss it, facts. So make sure if you have a setup, you take it and then you learn from the mistakes that if it didn't work out, you learn from it. But yeah, I'm on uh, on 9,000 steps right now today, but obviously I ran with my phone. So I need to get about 15K in, which we're gonna do as it's only about 12 right now. So let's go, what a good day. Mentally, it's been tough, but we get it done. And there we have it. We are selling off right now. We're still in both trades. Let's fucking go. We're running plus 4% right now on this trade. And also running about 90% on this one. This is massive. Come on. I'm literally just sitting here trading. This is all you have to do. This is literally it. Just trading, speaking to people, creating content for the group. Like I uploaded this just a second ago for 
everyone. And that's just like a base analysis, you know, just to show, look, I'm in the trade, I'm on my PC, I'm trading. That's what you want every trader to be doing, every single trade, breaking it down, showing you why he thinks that, you know? Holy fucking shit, it's dropping. It's about to fucking pay, baby. Look at that. It's going. It's going. Holy shit. Holy shit. It's going. Look at it go. Two, five. Eight, two. Oh my god, it's falling. It's falling. We are in this trade, by the way. I just moved it by accident. Two, five, nine, two. And take profit, two, five, three, five. It's about to fucking pay. Look at that. Oh my god, perfect entry there on the added entry. Scout the entry in. Currently running plus 3% right now. Come on. God, it was a bad morning. The, the, you know, the emotional side of things. Because obviously you're trading your own money and then you've got the group as well. You know, people are following this, trying to get funded, all this sort of shit. Let me just quickly show you though. Holy mother of God, what a setup. We've taken it. And yeah, um, I was feeling low, feeling down, but this is why you just gotta bounce back. Your next trade is, you know, you only remember yourself as your, as your last trade, um, but you're only as good as your next trade. So we're doing well, we're doing very well. We're gonna keep holding it though. We're holding it to take profit. I'm a holder, I'm a, I'm a holder. I'm not one of those people that are just gonna close for the 3%, no, we're holding to the big money, the 100, the 200, the three, four, 500 pips drop, come on. Snack number two, or well, number one actually, porridge with protein, raspberries and honey. You mix it all in, it goes, oh, that's in purplish color. It's very nice as well, probably very low in fats and stuff like that. And it's a good little pick me up snack. It's got a lot of sugar in it, I'm assuming. But hopefully all the good sugars. Still holding gold cells as well. Well, I'll sit here and profit. Two, five, seven, nine, let's go. Keep fucking holding, boys. It's gonna pay. We're going to 2050 first, and then we're going to 2535. Keep fucking holding. It's melting. Look at this. It's filthy. It's disgusting. Got people messaging me trying to pass their FTMOs. Damn. Join up the platinum chat. I'm literally giving out analysis after analysis with gold and it's so cheap. I used to charge 250, 50 pound a month, 250 lifetime. And I used to sell 500 plus people. Look at this. We're back, we're back trading again. We're back growing the YouTube again. And we're fucking back. And you boys are all coming in to join me. Look at that, 2576, we are milking this. Ah, fucked it. Well, I haven't fucked it, but 2590, we're still holding the sales. We was up 160 pips with an extra entry of plus 60 running, which is uh, over 10% and is run all the way back to entry. The joys of trading. Ah, oh, was getting, see what I mean? The mix of emotions that you go through in a day with, with trading. Should have just closed, but still believe in 2535. So I'm holding, I'm about to prepare some food for dinner. I'm having fajitas, which is just small carb wraps and protein chicken. So we're kind of laughing, but yeah, um, it is what it is. We moved, innit? 